ladies and gentlemen, how are we doing tonight? Yes! yes. <laughs> my name is Nathan Fan. I am the Magic Asian Man. I know that sounds like a weird racist thing, uh, I assure you. That is actually my website, magicasianman.com. And if it's on the internet, it has to be true. I know that because I read it on the internet. So there's no logical fallacy there. I'm going to start off with the very first magic trick I ever saw someone do in my entire life. A magician walked out on stage. He was dressed to the nines. And he had a pocket handkerchief. Do me a favor. Can you check out the pocket handkerchief? Make sure there's nothing funny about it. There's nothing in my hands. Right? He took it. He ran it through his hands. He gave it a little bundle. And he made a bird appear. Yeah, I can't do that trick. <laughs> but when he did, it was the best thing I'd ever seen in my life. Just kidding. I couldn't do it the next day, but now I can do it. Everyone say, everyone say hi to Nonami. <laughs> Come over here. There you go. Yes, Nonami is trained. Nonami is my good buddy, and I'm going to put her right over here. Another round of applause for my life bird, you guys. Yeah. There we go. 20 years of no socially. No. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. She, she knows. Step forward. Go. That's right, that'll be fine right there. No, Nami will stay right there. You saw how she came back to me, so she's gonna stay. She's in her cage. She's got, she's got satellite TV. She's got Wi-Fi. She's got everything. She's sat in there. Uh, excellent. How are we doing on the side? We're doing fine? Excellent. So now, uh, at this point, you guys have probably noticed there's a slight discrepancy between the way that I look and the way that I sound, so I'd like to address it now. The answer to the burning question in your minds is yes, I really am Vietnamese. Good. Moving along with the rest of the program. Are you guys not used to hearing thick Vietnamese accents? This is what we sound like. At least this is what we sounded like where I grew up, in the uh, northwestern part of Vietnam, called Glasgow, which is where I grew up. Okay, apparently one geography major in the audience, everyone else, Glasgow is in Scotland, not Vietnam, hence the unique blend of Ching Chongy that you see before you now. <laughs> the system got mad at me that I said Ching Chongy. I'm allowed to say it. It's when white people come up to me and say that there's a problem. Uh, yes, I grew up in Glasgow, Scotland. There's a little box that might be important later. Gla Glasgow, Scotland's where I grew up. Landhead, red-headed giant so masculine that men don't mind wearing skirts out in public. That's Scotland right there. They call them kilts, but we all know that they're skirts, right? You guys know they're skirts. They're skirts. They call them kilts, though. Uh, so that's where I grew up, from 1 to 11. Yeah, that's how you screw up an Asian kid's childhood, right there. <laughs> grow up right there. That's how they go into something like magic. We're going to do, well, let's see, what kind of a trick are we going to do for you guys? Let's, oh, let's get it out of the way. Let's get it out of the way. Now we're going to do... A card trick, it has to happen at least once. Gonna do the card trick, make sure my hands are nice and warmed up. Take the cards, you can spring them from one hand to the other. Mm, yeah, take the cards down the back. Back up. Caught them all that time. I'm just kidding, I did this, you guys. <laughs> Thank you for that vote of confidence, man. If my parents believed in me as much as you guys did, I'd be a happy camper. Just kidding, my parents are very, very proud of me. I'm just disappointed in myself because they wanted me to be a magician and I wanted to be a doctor. So you can see how there was a problem for everyone. For everyone who didn't have Asian parents growing up, it's the other way around. No Asian parent wants you to grow up to be a magician. Asian parents come up to you when you're a kid and say, you have to be the doctor or the pharmacist or you do the crypto jail on the nail for $5. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, we got... It's a Vietnamese guy who was like, that's what my parents said. <laughs> and now he's in television. He's more messed up than all of us. <laughs> Here we go, a card trick. Make sure that my hands are, let's see, give him a little. So you can cut cards using one hand. Yeah, you can cut cards using two hands in 20 years of no social life. That looks like this. Yep. I have a tracker anklet too. Anytime I'm within 10 miles of Las Vegas, the entire town just shuts down. They don't let me anywhere near that place. Uh, who would like to help me out for this trick? I need a volunteer. You can stay exactly in your seat. You don't have to get up at all. And let's see, I'm going to make sure I have my, this is my little emergency thing. And see, in a case of, it says right here, emergency use only. Uh, in addition to being a magician, I'm also an Eagle Scout. And in the Boy Scouting program, we had to be prepared. Lots of people don't believe me when I say that. The Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. 12 points of the Scout Law. Still remember that? Still use them every single day. Nobody cares. You know that every astronaut except on the moon was an Eagle Scout, right? So I'm just saying, if they needed to send a magician to the moon, I'd be first on that list. So that's the way that that works, I think, according to the way I made it. Hi, would you like to help me out? Yes, you can stay sat right there. Okay, excellent. I've got a packet of cards here. I'm going to dribble through them. You go ahead and call out stop anytime you'd like. While I'm dribbling through the cards, call out. I wasn't sure if I was clear about that. Is it the accent? It's the accent. It's the accent. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to dribble through the cards here. There you go. <laughs> I tore the, 
I toured to the south, and every single time I stepped on the stage, every, I just saw everyone in the audience cross their arms. They, that don't sound right. That ain't right. All right, here we go. Dribble the cards, you call it. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Somewhere between here and here. Just, oh, that's fine. Don't worry. It is really not your fault. Ready, set. I haven't caught yet. <laughs> But I appreciate your enthusiasm. Tell you what, since you're sitting so close, I'll just let you reach on in and grab a card. Reach on in and grab a just, just grab one, doesn't matter. That one right there, excellent. Take the card. And here's what we're going to have you do. I'm going to have you show everyone, and I'm going to have you sign it with a marker. So I'm going to turn my head out to the side. And here's what you can do. If it's a normal card like this, sign it big and bold across the face. If it is a royalty card, sign it in the, you, you can either sign it here or here, but somewhere in a blank space, all right? And then hold it up nice and high so everyone can see. And now you guys sitting on the sides, you can see there's nothing in my ears, right? Some people think that there's some guy in the back who's feeding me information. Someone's texting me on my cell phone. Or there's a little thing in my pocket that buzzes the right number of times so I know what card she's picked. People think insane things. So have you signed the card? Yes? Yeah. Good. You've shown it to everyone now? Yeah. Excellent. So what I want you to do is go ahead and take the card. I want you to place it. Where, where are you? I'm going to... You, oh, perfect. We'll meet halfway. Put the card back. Excellent. And did you cap up the marker? I did. You did? Thank you very much. All right. And what was your name? Ella. Ellen, everyone a round of applause for Ellen for helping me out. Excellent. And now I need to know, is there somebody here who knows how to shuffle a packet of playing <laughs> cards better than me? Can't be that hard. I just dropped all of them. Hopefully this trick still works. Anybody here know how to shuffle a packet of playing cards? Huh? We got a lit right over here. Perfect. Oh, 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 we have two. Tell you what, after you're done, hand it on over to her. Yeah, there you go. No. Everyone gets a chance. Excellent. So now, while the cards are shuffling, we're going to do a slightly different trick. Did she just drop all the cards? Who wants to see a coin trick? Because that's all I got left. I'll do the bird thing again. Let me just put them. It's right. We have, I have, this is, this is my backup trick. Like I said, we're always prepared. I got the little folded thing here. This is my backup trick here. So everyone back up. All right, here's. Uh, what was your name one more time? Ellen. 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 Uh, I didn't come up to you before the show. I didn't ask you to do anything in particular, right? Uh, so is there any way you could know what word I have written inside this envelope? Exactly. No, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she got it. You have to carry something that works every time. Because <laughs> sometimes people drop cards. Oh, well, we go. Okay. Oh, we found them all. Hopefully we found the one that was also your card. Uh, excellent. I have another trick that works every single time. I know that we're in a slightly politically charged time. I'm not here to make any political jokes. All I need you to do is name any U.S. president that you'd like. No, any, any, you tell you, to make it easier, one that served terms, all right? How does that, someone who's actually served, any Paul, president, huh? Reagan, Reagan, well, Nancy, here it is, if I had a picture of Ronald Reagan printed on the back side of this, would that be an amazing trick? Be an amazing trick, right? Nobody ever names Reagan. It's Washington or uh, Lincoln, nobody ever names Reagan. Ladies and gentlemen, this is President Ronald Reagan at six months old. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Works every time. Allow me to clarify, it used to work every time. And then about eight years ago, uh, we had a president that didn't fit the usual criteria uh, for this, so it stopped working, which is why I had this picture printed up in case someone named a more recent president. <laughs> he got to be covered. This is Obama. That's in case someone names Obama, all right? That's, that's what that is for, all right? Excellent. This is, there you go. Okay, but we'll start with the card, right? All right. I don't even know if that card is in that deck anymore. Just in case, what if I told you your card was actually printed big and bold behind baby Obama? Be pretty good, right? Printed behind Babel Obama. Your card, look at that. It's got, it's one of those. It has to be one of those. It has to be, because that's all of them. Just in case for the, those of you guys in the back who can't see very well, boom, is this your card right here? The King of Spades, yes, 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 boom. Uh, but we still haven't actually found your actual physical card yet. So uh, you have those cards shuffled, yes? All right, good. Here, we're going to take those. Thank you. We're going to hand them over to me. We're going to try to actually find your card from a freshly shuffled deck, okay? One card is going to... Let me wind up the deck. Perfect. Snap of the fingers. One card's going to jump out through the air. It's going to do 16 revolutions. I'm going to catch it in my fingertips in my left hand, all right? Make sure the wind... Yeah, the wind is good in here. Here we go. Hup. One card that I catch in my finger. Not only have I caught your card, it's magically changed into the six of spades. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Top change. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to see who we'll, we'll try and change it. We blow on the six of spades, and it changes into the jack of hearts. Nope, that's still not your card. No, no, it was supposed to be her card. I'm not quite sure. Can you check on your table, please? <laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously, I'm not joking. Check under your table, because it's not here. The card is not. The card is not here. Um, so <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, oh, you guys remember? There's a folded playing card inside this box over here. It's been sitting out here the entire time. I've not gone anywhere near it. Right? Take that folded playing card. Open it up. Hold it up nice and high so everyone can see. Is that your sign, King of Spades? Yes, it is. Yeah. Woo! That was a close one. You can keep that as a souvenir. That is for you. I thought it bollocks that one up. Woo! Mwah! Thank goodness for scouting program. And thank you, Baby Reagan. Mwah! See, look at that. That's, that was the start of the trickle-down economics. Is the, it started with trickle-down spittle, and then it transitioned over to... Nobody laughed at that one. Ah, uh, here we go. I'm going to go on. I need... Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So while I was growing up in Glasgow, all right, by the time I was 18, I learned that I had a very, very unique skill set. All right, I found that I was adept at vocal mimicry. I could sound like my mates. I could sound like my uh, headmaster. I could even sound like the people that I saw on television. And I brought with me lists of people that I can do impressions of. This list spans across uh, roughly, I'm going to say, 100 voices, right? Spanning over the last 70 years of pop culture. All right, now some of these names repeat. However, none of the faces do. On each and every single one of these are faces of all the people, not all, but my favorites to do impressions of. And here's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to try to do magic and voices at the same time. As far as I know, I'm literally the only magician in the entire world that can do this trick. So I need someone to help me out. Who would like to help me out? Someone who recognizes pop culture a bit. Someone who, someone who would like to help me out. Please, you guys. I'm not trying to embarrass you. Clearly, I've done that well enough with myself already, okay? I'm an Asian with a ridiculous Scottish bro. Come on, you guys. You're not going to look any more foolish than I look. I just need someone to stand up here and hold... Thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. What's your name? Lizanne. Huh? Lizanne. Lizanne. Everyone a round of applause for Lizanne, the only person who knows where Glasgow is on a map in this room, apparently. I'm from huh? I'm from Glasgow. Oh, you're a Ouija as well? Yes. Yeah? Oh, excellent. Hello. Oh, but, okay. <laughs> So how are you? I'm fine, thank you're you. All right, you're all right, perfect. Okay, my accent's about to get a lot thicker because there's two of us now. And the more <laughs> of us you get together, the <laughs> thicker it gets. Uh, pretty soon, you can't even understand the words coming out of it, you know? All right, exactly, that's how it goes. Excellent, so you can you come over here? And what I want you to do is I want you to go through and I want you to pick any one of these that you'd like. Okay. Okay, and then once you have one selected, you're going to take that one and you're going to stick it face down into this clipboard. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, perfect. I'm going to stand here with my Mac turned to you and go ahead and uh, find any one that you want. Put it face down inside the clipboard. I will tell a really rubbish joke in the meantime. Uh, what do you call a caveman who wanders around aimlessly? Yeah. A Neanderthal. All right, it's in the clipboard. Excellent. They're turning on us. Here, hand me that. Uh, hand me the stack, and I will trade you for the clipboard. Brilliant. All right, so now here's what's going to happen. You have one selected, right? You're looking at the back. There's a bunch of names there. So what's going to happen? Oh, they're upside down. That works too. What you're going to do is you're going to read out the names to me one at a time, all right, in any order that you'd like, and then based solely on... I'm going to try to do those impressions, and based solely off of your reactions, I'm going to figure out which one you're thinking of. Okay, does that make sense? Perfect. So go ahead, uh, any one of those names that you'd like, out loud. Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves. I can dodge bullets. I also will be playing John Wick in John Wick 2. Whoa. Uh, based off of that reaction, I'm going to say it is not Keanu Reeves. All right, so let's... <laughs> three people know who that is. Excellent. Um, go ahead, any other name on that list you'd like? Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin. Uh, lucky there's a family guy. Lucky there's a man who positively can do... Holy freaking crap, I'm getting nothing. It is not Peter Griffin. Uh, any other name on the list that you'd like? Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. Oh. Hold on, wait, this is the perfect opportunity. This swatch was on your father's wrist when he shot down. <laughs> Over Hanoi, he knew the gooks have a sight, they confiscate it, take it away, and he'd be damned if he yet the slopes get the greasy yellow mitts on his son's birthright. Wow, this is a bad monologue to do <laughs> in a room full of Asian people. Um, it is not Christopher Walken, thank you. <laughs> All, everyone just got two inches taller because everyone went, Ugh! is he allowed to say that? Uh, go ahead, any other name, it is not Christopher Walken, another name on that list, please. Mad Hatter from the classic Disney animation, uh, uh, Alice in Wonderland. Clean cups, clean cups, move down, move down. It is not Mad Hatter. Another one, please. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. <laughs> uh, it was Scooby Doo. 
There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Scooby Doo, Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are? Now you're reading these in any order that you wanted, right? So there's no way that it could have been that. Oh, it's always going to be the one immediately after Manhattan or before SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, 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 I'm ready. Uh, maybe it, it, some people think it's always two away from Iago. That's a surprise. I think I'm gonna have a heart attack and die from that surprise. But it wasn't. You could have read them out in any order that you wanted. And we're gonna do this one more time. But we're actually gonna get rid of the list entirely because here's what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to riffle down the back of this, and you go ahead and you call out stop anytime you'd like as I'm riffling through. Okay, I have one, two, three, four. Make sure I didn't lose any. All right, perfect. I'm gonna riffle through these. You go ahead and call out stop anytime that you'd like. Oh, geez, already. Okay. Do you know who that is? Yeah. Would you like to use this one or a different one? That one will do. Okay, I want everyone to take a look at this. Okay. Everyone got a chance to see it? Yes, there's no mirrors or anything like that that could give away what this is. Like I said, once again, no one uh, feeding me information. And there's no way I could see the list on the back because she stopped me somewhere in the middle of the packet. You could have changed your mind, but you did not. Do me a kindness. Could you step to my left and could you put your right hand on my left shoulder? Thank you. I know it's a lot of steps all at once. Do me a favor. Put your feet closer to the ground for me. Perfect. Thank you. Here's what we're going to do. Think about it. We do need to make sure that you're the same distance away from me as I am from you. Perfect. Here's what we're going to do. Think about it. You get on the way home. <laughs> I'm going to ask you questions, and you're going to answer them, but in your mind only. But you're always going to answer them uh, with a no. So sometimes you'll be telling the truth, and sometimes you'll be uh, lying, but you always do it in your mind. Does that make sense? Yeah. I said in your mind only. <laughs> ah! I, I got her. I got her. All right? One. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I won't trick you again. Just uh, answer in your mind. Uh, is this an actor? Is this a singer? Is this a, uh, oh, do you, you don't have to help out. Thank you, though. <laughs> is this a, uh, I'm asking, let's see, uh, is this a, uh, let's see, I already asked, okay, so is this an actor? Is this a singer? Is this a, uh, is this a cartoon character? Is this a Muppet? Is this a f computer generated character? Oh, you are hard to read. Okay, we're gonna try, we're gonna go on a different line of questioning. Um, is this a, uh, is this character, um, is this a, is this an English character or person? Mm, is this a, uh, is it Scottish? Is it Irish? Is it Australian? Is it French? Uh, are they Russian? Is it German? Are they Austrian? Are they American? Uh, oh, I'm getting like a really weird mix. Uh, does this... Is this a cartoon that takes place in a fictional place? Okay, that's why I can't get a lock on that. But uh, the way that they sound, uh, do they sound primarily American, maybe? Okay, maybe it's just because they sound American. So now, if they're American, they could be like uh, North Midwest. Oh, sure, don't you know? Uh, it could be from New York, New Jersey, that kind of thing. Maybe they're from the South. You know, it could be like that, more of like that drawl in Alabama or something. Or maybe they got the hard R's like in Texas. I'm not getting anything off of this. Um, is this, ah, is this a cartoon that maybe has a bunch of different voices? Sometimes it's not really high, sometimes they're talking really low, sometimes they're talking really, really fast, they're making up lie. I think I know, I figured out who this is. This is a Disney cartoon, this is the oven to be imitated. But never to be duplicated, 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 genie of the lab. Is that correct? Everyone, a round of applause for Lee Sam, thank you so much. Before you go, you get a special prize for helping me out. This is a limited edition, only nine million of these ever printed. Nathan Fan poster for you thank to you. take up. Thank you very much, cheers. All right, and she, don't trip and fall, unless you want to own a comedy palace in San Diego. There you go, excellent, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's come to that time, and it is time for me to do my favorite thing in the entire world. Uh, this is the one that I've been working on the longest. Lots of people ask me, oh, what's the hardest thing that you do? And it's not really a technical skill thing. It's just a thing that I've been working on for the longest. Let me make sure these are put away, because by the time I'm done, I'm going to be so exhausted, I'm not going to want to put any of these away. So I'm going to put them away now, because I know how I operate. Perfect. This goes in here. That stays right there. Excellent. Raise your hand if you've heard of a man by the name of Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini, you guys know, you know, one of the allegedly greatest showmen on earth, all right. Uh, king of cards, master of escapes, and nothing on earth could hold him. He made an escape famous back before he passed in 1926, and it was the straight jacket escape. And ever since then, everyone has been trying hard to do it better than he did which many historians say is not physically possible. He was the best that ever was at it. I'm not saying I'm better than Houdini, but I think I've got my own unique way of doing it that will uh, hopefully mean that you guys will never forget my performance of it. I actually did this on a recent episode of Masters of Illusion. Anybody watch Masters of Illusion on the CW Network during the summer, Friday nights at I believe 8 p.m. We just got renewed for another season. We actually start filming in front of a live audience in January. So if you go to mastersofillusion.com or Masters of Illusion Live, you can get tickets, free tickets to come see the taping. I will also be in the Hollywood Christmas Parade promoting Masters of Illusion. So you guys can tune in, watch the Hollywood Christmas Parade, and see my Shane and put him waving. You're like, I saw him. 
he made a bird appear and almost didn't find a lady's card. Uh, all right, I need, in order to escape from this, I do need a volunteer to help me out. Someone strong to strap me in. Someone big and strong. Someone big and strong. Huh? Jean-Michel? Jean-Michel, all right. Jean-Michel, s'il vous plaît. Merci bien. Hello, how are you? Bonsoir, Jean-Michel. Bonsoir. Yeah, okay. Now, or, uh, do you actually speak French? Just saying, sometimes people have names like no. Okay. No, okay, just, just English, he says with an accent, so I don't know what to believe anymore. Here's what I want you to do. Hold on to this end for me, please. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to hold on to this end. All I want you to do is go ahead and give that a pull so that you know that it's strong. Pull. Yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> he nearly pulls me off of my feet. Are you sure your name isn't Valjean? Because you look uh, very, very... Michael. Michael, okay. No, Jean-Michel. Okay, here's a... Look down, look down, don't look him in the eye. Here's what I want you to do. You're going to strap me in as tightly as possible. Okay, as tightly as possible. There's three straps across the back. Oh, I'm starting to regret this already. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, you yeah, as tight net, as tight as you can, and then it loops through and it buckles in. It's like doing a bunch of belts. So hopefully, yeah, he's figured it out. <laughs> All right, as tightly as you can, all the way down to the last notch, if possible, yeah? Good, good, and now you can move on to the second one. Yes. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with this piece of apparatus, yeah, there's three. Uh, the, third, the fourth one broke because I had, I had your brother apparently come up here and strap me in and it broke. Uh, as tightly as you can. Now, uh, for those of you unfamiliar with the straight jacket, these were formerly used in mental institutions, sanitariums. They were used to restrain people who were considered a danger to themselves and to others. They are now actually illegal in the state of California. So I'm literally breaking the law. Just, did you do the three? Three, nine. Oh, there's nothing on the bottom. Yes, excellent, good. And now the arms attach to each other. He knows what he's doing, which worries me and excites me at the same time. As tightly as you can, really tight. Pull, pull, pull. Yeah, tightly, tightly. Come on, there you go, as strong as you can. Now most, yeah, pull tight, pull tight. Yeah, tight, 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 as tight as you can. As tight as you can. Yep, there, there we go. Is he having difficulty? We'll find out. Oh, no, he figured it out. There it is. Uh, most magicians at this point, they will stop talking because they'll inhale, it expands their rib cage, gets them more air. There's one last strap I need you to take care of, Show michel Please. There, there you go, thank you. I thought you Europeans were comfortable with her. Uh, so you see there's like a little tail, can you see there's another, there's another buckle hanging straight uh, vertically. Yeah, there's a thin, there's one hanging straight down. Yeah, that should go through. Yep, and then pull that tightly. Yep, pull tightly. Pull all the way down and back up again. Yeah, all the way down. Does he have the right one? I don't know, I can't see. Yeah, pull down. Yeah, pull down. You're gonna lock it in. No, you gotta pull down. You gotta pull down. Pull down. Because you see, this stops it coming back up over my head. What is happening back there? What are you doing? You keep it, no, no, it's not, is it even a, no, hold on, it's like, that will never do. Come on, someone else then, please just. This tight enough. No, it's not, I look at that, I have movement. Everyone, round applause for Jean-Michel, we're gonna have someone else straighten up the line. Jean-Michel, merci bien, you can have a seat now, thank you very much. Can I have a, uh, say you vous, monsieur. Uh, I need someone, to, can someone strap in the last of this, because this is, de this is way too loose. This is way too loose. The, oh, she's, oh, look at that, there we go. Okay, so yeah. Yeah, pull, yeah, perfect, pull down. So yeah, pull it, yeah, there you go, pull, pull down. When I say pull down, I say pull down for you because that's gonna force it all down. Tighter, come on, come on, there you go. Yeah, pull, tighter, come on. Oh my God, why does everyone always wimp out? Yeah, yeah, that's the idea. Okay, there, yes, thank you very much. Thank you, uh, was it uh, Ellen, yes, right? All right, everyone applause for Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Straight jacket escape. Uh, in a slightly different way than you're used to. Harry Houdini would dangle upside down hundreds of feet up in the air, or they'd lock him inside a steamer trunk, throw him in an iced over river, so you could never watch him as he escaped. And I've practiced way too long at this for you guys to not see how it works, because there is no trick. Uh, Jean-Michel was inspecting this as he strapped me in. Uh, there is no trick to this. It really is just all about relaxation. Deep breaths, deep breath in, deep breath out. And I always find it easiest to relax when I'm listening to classical music. Now it's a bad time to realize I'm thirsty. Ellen, can I have some water? No? Okay, that's fine. I can't tell if you guys aren't impressed or you think I'm lip syncing. What's happening? Nella tua fredda stanza, guardi le stelle che tremano. 
anno d'amore e di speranza Everybody.